hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a one to many field and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a many to one field in odoo 17 please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 development tutorial and currently we are working on this odoo 17 fields development tutorial and by the way, this is the main playlist of the Odoo 17. So all these subtopics cover here also. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with the older version, you can see Odoo development. And once you click here, you can see different types of playlists available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. And guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. Uh, before moving to the one to many field, right? In case you missed previous discussion about many to one field, please check because that session is depend on this one to many field, right? So let's say, let's understand first the diagram. So this is a school and the student model. You can also treat as a different tables, right? Here ID and the name available in the school model. In the student model, ID name and the school underscore ID available, right? Which is the many to one field of this table the model right now here uh, let's say we have a one school with multiple students right so due to that like to identify particular student is belongs to the particular school so that's the reason we created many to one field so likewise in a reverse if you see so how many students available for the particular school right so here in this model we have to create a one to many field so it will only display here in this particular view of the Odoo. So let me go to here in the invoice. Let me open the first invoice, right? You can see this. So this is the one invoice having a multiple product list, right? So you can see at the moment it's a four. If you switch to the different invoice, you can see this invoice have a two products only. But you see the first one have a three, uh, sorry, the four products. So in the database side, right you you can see like lot of invoice lines available but to differentiate we have to create a many to one field in this invoice line table so due to that what would automatically display only particular invoice lines to the specific invoice likewise we are also trying to create one to many field for the school profile to display the particular students belongs to the particular school right and by the way this one to many field is not created in the database side. So yeah, there is no any field register either in the school ID or the student ID. Only the one thing is the many to one field, which is available in the sub module. So sub module in this case is the student. Okay, so this is the child table and this is the parent table. So here you can see, we will try to create something like this. Okay, so let's say school ID is three. And we have a let's say 100 students available, but only 50 students belongs to this school ID 3. So here when you open the particular view, same like this in the student profile. Let's say here, you can see only Nalanda school students only available. If I will switch to the new school, right, only the IIT school display the specific students only, not all the students. I mean, this all the students, like you can see 13 students available, but here when you open from the specific school, you can only see the specific students belongs to this Nalanda school. So like that way, we have to create a one to many field in the school level, the table level. I have defined here like this, might be you have some confusion. So table means in the Postgres side, we can call as a table, right? But in a Odoo side, we can treat as a model. And this ID is the database ID, right? And you can see here ID name and the student underscore list we have to create here as a one to many field. Likewise, here in the student profile, it must be available many to one field of the school profile. After it will create a virtual link in the school profile to display only the particular students right i hope you understood this concept in case you still don't know please rewind this session all right so let's say 
I'm going to here in the student profile. Right, you can see this is the our school model, right? Now here I will create student underscore list fields dot one to many. Guys, now you have to remember one thing. This student underscore list is the field name. You can add anything here, right? After that equal to then after fields, right? This fields we have to import from Odoo import and fields. Forgot about this and this. What is this? I will not explain that part. Like from Odoo import fields, and after that fields you have to mention one to many. O is the capital and like this, right? Here we have to provide two parameters compulsory. Okay. So first thing is here we have to provide the model name. This model name. So because you can see we have to display here the particular students for the particular school right for the using the one to many so here we have to mention wb dot student this model after this model field as a many to one field we have to check here so you can see the school underscore id this wb dot school right the school underscore id you have to mention here that's it after odoo automatically manage the relationship this is the beauty of the one to many field right now let's say i'm going to here now the thing is here uh, sorry in the school profile right i will add here that field school underscore list to register this field in the school model now i will try to upgrade this module i'm i'm going to upgrade this module from this pycharm terminal so once i will click to this start the odoo service so it will automatically upgrade the module in case you don't know how to configure like this odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained so let me minimize this one now i will refresh the screen all right so we have some error right let me find out oh sorry so you see i have done one mistake the student list and here i pasted the school underscore list now let's say i will minimize this one and refresh the screen see nalanda school right having a two dd uh, dd1 and dd2 these two students is belongs to this school right and let's say if i'm going to list view if i will open the iid i cannot see here any of the student because there is no students available in the iid so let me confirm here group by and let's say student so none means the no school registered at the moment only nalanda having a two student mit having a one abc school having a one so let me confirm one more time so nalanda having a two students right you can see two students mit having a one student so mit having a one student right abc school having a one student abc having a one student but let's say iit right then after IIM, Vivekananda school, right? Those schools don't have any students. So let's create, uh, let's assign, let's a particular this one to IIM. Let's say Vivekananda school. now if i will go to here and i will open iit so still iit i didn't select right but if you see i am having a one student then after mit having a one vivekananda having also one student like this now another thing is the beauty is right you can see here total 13 record is here right now I will create a new record of the student. Now you see, 
in the student profile if I will click to new right it says ABC school due to the default default value right now just remember like when we create a new record it's automatically select ABC new now you see here the beauty of the one to many field if I will click to add a line you can see the IIT school this one automatically select here right if I will go to switch to here and I will create a new student from here you can see IIM school IIM school see MIT MIT so that default underscore 7 will override and it will use this for ID here why because you are trying to create record from this school profile and due to this many to one field right so by default it's a MIT school ID here while you click to this button right now uh, let's say I will save let's say female right uh, let me add also the student name Harry Potter so you can see std and address field so right now you can see this Harry Potter new student created and if you see here sorry not here in the student profile you can see the Harry Potter is also created the last one see so this is the beauty of this one to many field now let's talk about the different attributes supported attributes i hope you understood uh, and yeah one more thing uh, i already told you this one to many field is virtual field uh, in the odo side not in the table side right so let me oh, sorry now you can see uh, id create write that right and this two uh, this five fields forgot about this five fields you can just focus here the name right we used here the name this is the this is actually the schema of the table right this is wb underscore school in the postgres side database side you cannot see the school underscore list here right but if you see here settings technical models school and if you open here you can see the student list one to many right this is the field name this is the model name right which we fetch the data from the student model and this is the many to one field id from this model after Odo automatically manage to display the relevant data in the school profile see right so here you have to remember one thing while you create a one to many field compulsory uh, let's say for the particular model so that particular model it means here these models many to one field should be available or else it won't be work so here you can see in this case we created yes we created this many to one field in the student profile for this model we have to mention in the second parameter in the first parameter we have to pass that particular model and that's it would automatically let's say fetch only the relevant data right so i think it's very easy to create a one to many field and i hope you understood the concept how the many to one field we can create so that's the reason let's say if you don't know how to create a many to one field please check the previous session after you come to know the one to many field right now let's say we didn't mention here the particular label name so how to automatically use the field as a label name you can see here student list but here it will automatically remove underscore to the space and the first character in each word it's 
updated as a upper cast character right now let's say you want to change anything you can use here the string right students now let's say i will upgrade this module but let me minimize this one and refresh the screen you see from student list to students now i will use here read only equal to one so that means like i cannot add a new uh, let's say record so once i will refresh the screen this add a line automatically hide see and now let's say i can only and this form you also read only i cannot edit also this one so this is the completely read only but here i can choose anything i can up edit right this one after you can use here help So once I will restart the service, okay. So this help automatically convert into HTML tooltip. So you can see before this refresh the screen, right? The question mark is not available. But after the help attribute we used in the Python side, it will automatically add here the question mark. So let's say uh, what is the purpose? In case, like as an end user, don't know what is the purpose of this field, and as a technical side. You want to just provide the, some useful tips for this field. They can just hover here, and they can know. Okay, what is the purpose of this field? So they can use here like tooltip, and after that, auto do automatically use this uh, up here this question mark, right? The help. Well, here you can also use default, but I will not explain in this session because default is taking too much time to understand. Right. So once the special command finish, after I will explain this one to many default value because it's not something like we can pass ID or like that. It's not easy. Okay. So we can also use here default. Now uh, that's it from the Python side because the thing is required attribute is also not working in the one to many field. Let's say I will refresh the screen. Right. And let's I will add here a new to uh, school X Y Z, and once I click, it's allow me to create this record or let's say edit the record. Here you can see school uh, student is empty, right? Because the thing is, required field is not working in the many to one field. Same like the float field, same like the integer field, and same like the boolean field, right? So here you have to inherit the create and the write method and you have to double check the student list is blank you can throw the ex exception or you can create also the widget it is up to you right let's talk about the xml side supported attributes so let's say no level one here we have to compulsory upgrade the module because we are changing in the xml side so now no level one means once you refresh the screen you can see that level automatically hide right so that is the purpose of the no level after invisible once you in click to the uh, use the invisible and once you refresh the screen you cannot see that field in the form view after that read only once you refresh the screen you can see this is not more editable anymore this field right after string let's say student list current xyz something like that right you want to override the label name once you upgrade the module and before refresh you can see the label name is students right now after refresh you can see the label name is also changed so that's it here for the one to many field i hope you understood about this one to many field in case you have some doubts please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to create a many to many field